miners have been chipping away at rock salt here since 1923, using a big boom and some heavy machinery. Okay, maybe it's a bit more complicated than that. We're going 650 feet underground, and it'll take us approximately a minute and a half. We're going out to the face, uh, to where the mining is actually being done, and that'll take us uh, about 20 minutes. Down here, salt is a way of life. Obviously, the environment down here is all salt. The, the ceiling's salt, the floor's salt, the walls are salt, and to an extent, the air is salt and you breathe that in and you can constantly taste the salt. And a lot of the miners, they get to a point where either they go one of two ways, they don't put any salt on their food or they put way too much salt on their food uh, in order to taste it. This mine is approximately two and a half miles north to south and a mile and a half east to west and growing every day. The mining method they use here is called room and pillar. This is because large caverns are carved out, leaving behind 40 by 40 foot load-bearing salt pillars. The first order of business, undercutting and drilling 12 foot deep holes. The reason to undercut her is uh, to relieve the pressure from if you shoot it without cutting it to just stand there, it wouldn't blow out. It'd just be one big glob. Uh, what we're doing here, we're going to fill these in 29 holes that they just drilled with ammonia nitrate and a diesel fuel mix. It's just a fertilizer. You just take your booster and your primadet and stick, stick it in the end of the hose. And then you try to hit that hole up there. Fire the hole! And five and a half minutes later, The blast dislodges 300 tons of rock salt.